Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. In this episode, we're gonna stir to our next destination. Because Team Magma is headed off to Might Power, and we're about to go and see where they are. Or, like, track them down or so. I, I don't know. Here we are. I'm pretty sure this is it. Wait, Mount Pyra is a cemetery? Huh. Alright, well, wait, are these trainers? Okay, there's obviously Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure there's trainers. <coughs> oh, wow, it does full. <coughs> Hi, Pikachu. Yes, I took out uh, Dust Talk because, guys, we're about to face Team Magma, and this is going to involve a lot of water. If I had known this would happen, I would try and get a water type, but I doubt that because May didn't have a water type other than us her Squirtle, but still. Did you come to pay your respects to, to the spirits of departed Pokemon? You must care about a lot about your Pokemon. Hmm. One of these guys are trainers. Okay, that's not it. Maybe he is. The rich atmosphere of the mountain has elevated my psychic power. A mere child like you, you dream of weaning. Mm. Not really. I mean, even though I'm still gonna beat you, but still. That's not a psychic Pokemon. Unless you give it a water stone, it's not a psychic Pokemon. And speaking of psychic, I'm gonna shuck your psychicity or... I don't know if that actually came out right. Forget what I said. Nice, Pikachu. Oh, and yes, the XP share is off. Because, well, yeah, the XP share is off. I normally don't turn off the XP share, but for where we're going, we're going to have to turn it off for a while. Alright, rest all you want. This should buy me some time to destroy you. Please lock on it. See ya. I drown in self pity. Why did you drown in self pity? My psychic powers have surely grown several times, but. Oh. Alright. So yeah, I replaced those stocks with Azumarill because we're gonna need Azumarill for a while on our surfing, so let's see if this guy's a trainer. Every time I think of the Pokemon I lost, I wish I had lived forever. But I also think it would be tragic to become immortal without wishing for it. Hmm. When I'm here, some sort of power flows into me. What kind? A ghost power? Because that's basically what you are. Seriously, I cannot stop looking at your face. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Honestly, we're just going to battle trainers until we reach where Team Magma is. Because Team Magma said they were in my power, so yeah. The power is ebbing away. Yeah, your ghost powers. Perhaps the power is from the spirits of Pokemon and fitful sleep here. Okay, why is Mount Pyra a cemetery then? Is it like, are they like at the top or something? I don't know. Ah, stupid rebel. Yeah, you know I may want to put that on. Actually, because I don't feel like battling some Pokemon. Other than just trainers. Let's see. Oh, I also have a Max Rebel. Maybe I'll use that instead, whenever, you know. Alright, let's battle the skull. Okay, maybe not. Are you a trainer? Teacher, please watch over my progress. Wait, what? Teacher? Okay. Maybe we got Machok. Okay, that's fine. And here comes Combustion. Flamed right. Teacher, please forgive me. Okay, is your teacher a Pokemon or what? 
And so I prove my teacher who rests here will never find true peace. Okay. Okay, that was basically. Oh, okay, she's not a trainer. I think that some of these trainers are. Hmm, maybe she is. When I tell everyone I can talk with Pokemon, they didn't seem concerned for me. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Momo, what kind of name is that? I don't know, but I'm about to destroy her. See ya. My Pokemon! You are in pain, are you? I'm sure your Pokemon's fine. It's not like they're in the cemetery. It's not fun to be with Pokemon and talk with people. Battling with trainers may be a bit fun, though. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a double battle. I'm not even gonna bother it. You know what? I think we're not gonna battle trainers since some of them might not be... Okay, I think those two might, so... Hmm. Alright, let's see. What am I setting up with? I think I'm gonna go with... Alright, I think I know what I'm going with. We sisters have been brought together by the greatness of a ghost cure are the strongest. Do you think you can win against we sisters who have been brought together by the greatness of fairy magic? Maybe. Alright, what do we got? Illy and Io? Okay. Dropping my love. Okay, that's fine. I got this. Alright. Muskin, flamethrower, that Mawel, Skitty, you play rough that Giraffe Break, because I think Giraffe is part dark. Okay, it's not part dark, but at least we still beat it. See ya. No, the spell was broken! Oh, the curse was lifted! This girl lives in my neighborhood. Dealing with children is really tiring. Alright, time to stop playing sisters. Let's play again sometime, Foot Trainer. Alright, so obviously, I think those. Like, okay, they're obviously. I'm pretty sure that guy's a trainer, but still. Alright. Probably that ghost girl right there as well. I'll probably battle those off video. Right now, let's see if this is, might be it. Okay, obviously there's a... There's a TM. Hey, I see a Megastone over there. Alright, let's see what that is, actually. Oh, it's about a better Alright, I'm not gonna deal with these uh, people right now, because I don't think they're trainers, so... Let's go ahead and head back down, and... Okay, you know what, I think I'll be fine. Alright. Are we here? I sent something. Is it? Oh wow, you could get Vulpix in here? That's cool. Uh, not, not right now, we gotta look for Team Magma. Where are they? Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Wow, the graphics look so good in this game. Alright, I, I gotta admit, the remakes are actually better than the originals. Well, I even though I never played the originals, only a piece of it, but that was it. But still, oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. I don't think this happened in the originals, like... Like, the view of this Mount Pirate? <coughs> I don't think it- Oh my gosh, there's Team Magma. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go. I knew it. You! We met it, not Chimney. Now I'll take my revenge. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. We're going down. <coughs> and my coffee can turn. I thought it wouldn't. <coughs> Alright, come back in. You know what to do. Take it down. See ya.
Ugh, I lost to a kid again? Yep. Not just any kid. That's alright. I was able to buy some time. We should have already stolen what the leader sent us here for. Oh no, you don't. Who are you? What can a kid do all by herself? Um, possibly destroy you. And burn you alive. Unless it's a part fire type. Okay. Time for plan B. Combuskin? You sky uppercut. See ya. What about that? Smythia? Okay, that I can burn. Flamethrower. <sighs> I'll fill that one later. I, I surrender, but how dare you get away when you know nothing of our plans? What plans? Oh, jeez. I shall show you the true terror of Team Magma. What, you gonna burn me alive when I'll burn you alive instead? Yeah, I like to see that happen. With your mighty Anna. Get him. Nice. All right, flex the gold bat. Ah, oh, great. I was thinking about switching to beautiful light. Oh well, I'll probably get Pikachu instead. How is that? <clears throat> Thunderbolt it. I see. Do you intend to fight Team Magma all by yourself? Maybe. You certainly are strong, but we are everywhere. Alright, time to switch. Let's go. There they are. Hmm. So, it was you. I'm sorry I had to postpone my defeat of you at Mount Chimney. And now I am sorry that I have to postpone it once more. I cannot afford to waste even a single second now. But a red orb which has long been enshrined here at Mount Fighter now belongs to me, the great Maxi. Courtney? <sighs> you must see to it that our dear visitor is not neglected due to my inability to battle now. Do be so kind as to battle her with a full measure of your strength. And crush this girl so that she will never again for a single moment dream of defying our team. <laughs> With a red order in my possession, I have no need for the power of the meteorite to awaken the beast from the deep. All that I need now is a way to reach the place where it sleeps. The only task remaining is obtaining the submarine being constructed in Slateport. We move at once, team. Our next destination, Slateport City. Oh no. Analyzing. <laughs> I know. Here we go. Alright, Corny. Come here. With your- Oh! God, no! Well, this is gonna be hard now. Alright. I still got some moves, so I'll take it down. Yeah, cut it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Rock slide! Okay, you know what? Give me your help. Thank you. Oh, uh, even though it didn't even reach the green, but still. At least we got her. Funny. What's funny? Again, that's unanticipated. I knew it. You are interesting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to when we can meet again. 
This corny is creepy. I mean, what disaster. The red orb, stolen from my safekeeping. The red orb and the blue orb must never be separated. They belong together. Hmm. I will entrust the remaining blue orb to you, young one. Wait, what? Okay. We're just gonna grab it then? Yep. Whoa! What's going on? Okay, I thought something bad was gonna happen all of a sudden. And I beg you, chase after those thieves and take back that orb. That wretched leader of theirs. I'm sure he said they were headed for Sapor City next. Oh no. Bub, it's time for me to fly. Guys, I taught Altaria how to fly it off video. So we're going straight to Slateport City. <clears throat> Let's do this. Wow, it's still peaceful music, and all of a sudden it's just like, you know, I don't know why it's like peaceful and then like this whole world is gonna, I don't know. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Where is it? Oh no. Yes, indeed, and that is why we intend to move ahead with our expedition. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time for your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with news and more discoveries. That never happened. Phew. That was my first time being filmed for TV. What a nerve-wracking experience. Oh, it's you again. You're looking well. Glad to see it. We made a huge discovery on our latest expedition to the sea floor. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128, and we think it may be the den of a super ancient Pokemon long thought to have been extinct. Hmm? Hmm. Captain Stern, I presume you can hear me. We of Team Magma will not assume the control of your famed submarine. Take pride in the fact that your invention will serve as the linchpin of the next great step in humanity's development. <laughs> huh? Do you hear that voice? It's like someone is using a megaphone. Where is it coming from? It came from the harbor. Our submarine, they took it. Young lady, I'm sorry, but please come with me. Oh, sure. Those thugs. They're the same lot who tried to take the debit cards at the museum. <coughs> huh? So, you had bothered to chase me and Maxie all the way here from Mount Pyde. Ho ho ho. You have earned my respect for the positions you have shown. However, none can stop us now. All that remains is to retrofit the submarine and force our way to the Seaport Cavern, where the great Pokemon sleep. Our plan is to prepare humanity to its ultimate height of into the final stage. If you wish to prolong your fuel struggle, I will not deny your right to fly. Our hideout lies in Lily Coast City. Follow us to our every door if you feel that justice demands it. And now I must be going. Tabitha! We are in the court, Leader Maxi. You go on, there! And so our leader and I, your admin, have made our escape in submarine. Stay here and buy some time. Oh no. Yes, yes sir! This way, Leader Maxi, we should make haste. Let us go. <clears throat> oh no. This is not just for buying time. I will flatten you. Yeah, we'll see about that. <clears throat> Alright, we got Mike Tiana. Ooh, bad choice on their part. Beautiful, let's go! Tell me all you want, that's not gonna work. Bug bug. See ya. I'm speechless. Yeah, you are. I was the one who was fun. Seems I have no choice. It takes me a Team Magma Ace Grunt to take care of you. Oh, really? You want to try me? 
what do you got? Number oh no. Well, at least the thing is far gone that way I can suck its health. You know what to do. See ya. Alright, go back. Keep battling. We got this. Even though we're at a huge disadvantage, but still, air cutter. What do you think? What? What's going on? Um, you just got destroyed. But, but, I'm not getting out of my How could I have lost? Mission complete. Let's head for the hideout and join the project to modify the submarine. Yes. I can't wait to see the progress on the submarine. Oh no. Marty? Those criminals. What are they planning to do with my submarine explorer one? They can't be they can't be after the super ancient Pokemon that slumbers at the bottom of the sea. Nay, I'm sorry, but my soul in submarine. It could bring an unimaginable disaster upon the world. Someone has to get to their hideout and Lily Code to stop them. But I've got no chance alone. Nay, please. May I ask for your help? And I can at least get you as far as Lily Cove, where the hideout is. Do you think you and your Pokemon could put a stop to them and save my sub from being used for evil, please? Of course. Thank you. We'll launch at lunch. Alright, let's do this. We've arrived in Lily Cove City. Those thieves who stole my submarine must be hiding out somewhere in the city. May, please, find my sub for me. I'll be heading back to the shipyard and sleeper to start dealing with the aftermath of all this. Alright, don't worry. Alright guys, something tells me this is going to be a long video, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Wow, it's all peaceful, and even though that we're about to go on the mission here to stop Team Magma. Don't worry, guys. I already know. I already snuck in, and I kind of figured out where it is off video. It's right here. All right, guys. In the next video, we'll go ahead and see what Team Magma is up to, and we'll take them down from the hideout. And yes, this is a short video because this next video is probably going to be longer than this by a lot. See you guys then.